If there's a big need for volunteers and there's a big need for you to go and help the flood victims. KXC and Sophia Bosile is live from the Crossroads Christian House of Prayer. Good morning. Hi, good morning, Sally. You know, I was at Travis County Commissioner's Court earlier this week. I heard the plea from leaders there. I've heard it from charity workers in the area. They need help. They need people to go into these communities and help the folks to pick up the shovels that you see behind me and give all these folks a helping hand. So 500 homes in Austin and outside when it comes to Travis County uh, have had flood damage. Almost 100 people are still seeking shelter at the Dittmar Recreational Center. And people are sifting through their, their bridge still two weeks later and trying to rebuild. Folks who live in the thoroughbred farms and Arroyo Doble neighborhoods are not in the floodplain and they saw some of the worst damage in Travis County. One woman in Garza was swept away from her home in the thoroughbred farms neighborhood last month. We spoke to one of her neighbors who says they've lived there for decades and never experienced any type of flooding like this. The uh, water came in inside like four feet and so everything that was four feet and under inside the house got wiped out. We had to get rid of everything. The, what we really just said was closed. We were able to wash those. So people are asking you to come here to the Volunteer Reception Center at 5201 East William Cannon Drive. It's right at the intersection of Pleasant Valley. This is going on until Sunday. Uh, you have to be 18 years or older, and the doors open at 8 o'clock. You register, you get briefed on what exactly you need to do. So make sure you wear the proper clothing in order to go into these neighborhoods and help out. Coming up in 30 minutes, we're going to talk to the Salvation Army, and they're going to tell us exactly what they need from you to help give back to these folks so they can get back on their feet. Reporting live from Southeast Austin, Sophia Beausoleil, KXAN News. Okay.